Blue at six, Confederate controversy. Students caught on camera waving the rebel flag at Cusa High School in Rome. Fellow classmates now calling out school leaders for their response. Some of them suspended for planning a protest. CBS 46's Haley Mason is in Rome unraveling the issues. These students behind me aren't taking a skip day. They're actually suspended from school for planning a protest against racism that they say they experience inside their school and on campus in Floyd County. This is what started it off. Students reportedly flying Confederate flags and spewing racial slurs on campus at Cusa High School earlier this week. The black students and white and Latino classmates spoke up and planned a protest against racism. I felt really disrespected how the school didn't do anything about it. And when we're not allowed to wear BLM, BLM stuff all over ourselves, and then they are allowed to carry a, a racist flag around. What are we fighting for? Yeah. Early Friday morning, police had the campus lined, keeping the student protest line back. Administration had warned the day before it would clamp down, making this announcement. The administration is aware of tomorrow's planned protest. Activities of this kind will not be allowed here at Cusa High School. The announcement threatened disciplinary action for even having a flyer announcing the protest. My mother gets here. Students tell us they were suspended from making protest plans and arguing with the administration about racial slurs and the flag. But students say those suspensions were only for certain kids, black students. All the African Americans that was up there, they, they suspended them, they didn't suspend mm -hmm. me. They didn't suspend her either, and we both disrupted all we the eighth grade ones. classes. Yeah, we were... Their parents tell us they were served suspension papers not only by the principal, but by police. I made multiple calls to the school district with no response, so I looked into the state data for suspensions in Floyd County. In 2020, it breaks it down by race. 8% of black students were suspended, the highest number. 6% were two or more races, 4% white, 2% Hispanic. These students saying they want all of that to change. The parents tell us they're upset to know their complaints have gone unresolved so far, and now their kids will have to miss homecoming after being suspended from school. We'll have more from the school's leadership on our CBS 46 app. Reporting in Floyd County, Haley Mason, CBS 46 News. Let's take a live look over at